A. Making a list of various organisms present in and around the water body nearby your school and explaining the food chain and the food web according to their mode of nutrition. Materials Blank paper, pen, pointer, etc. Introduction Students, in the previous practical, you have studied and observed the food chain. You have also studied its importance in an ecosystem. But in ecosystems, there are more than one food chains operating at a time. It means organisms from one food chain can interact with those from an another food chain. Thus, for organisms, more than one sources of food are available. This forms a more complex network of interdependence, giving rise to a food web. Procedure This practical is to be completed as a group activity. Conduct a survey of your school surroundings in a group to locate a suitable place. You will have to choose a pond or a puddle that has aquatic plants and animals in it. Then, under the guidance of your teacher, observe the various plants and animals from the pond. Note their names in your record book. Now, after returning to your class, construct the food chains and the food webs depending upon the mode of nutrition. Sketch food chains and food webs in your journal. Observation List of organisms found in the pond. This is just an example given to understand the concept and its presentation. The actual list would differ from place to place. Inference Food chain The organisms depend on each other for food energy to form a food chain. Food web Actually, food chains do not operate in isolation, but they are interconnected to form a network called food web. There are more than one food chains operating in the pond. But these food chains show interactions with each other to form a complex food web. A food web provides more than one food options to organisms, helping them to survive. It also keeps the number of individuals under control. A food web thus offers stability in an ecosystem.